Welcome back everybody. Today I'm going to be making Korean rice balls. These are so versatile and easy to make. Here I have three cups of medium grain rice. I'm going to take it over to my sink and wash it thoroughly. To wash the rice, I'm just basically going to rinse it two to three times or until the water is fairly clear. So my rice has been rinsed three times. Now I'm going to fill my washed, rinsed three cups of medium grain rice. And you'll notice my um, rice cooker insert has water level lines. You could use that or you could use the old fill the water to the first knuckle. <laughs> I never have luck with that, by the way. <laughs> so I'm just going to use the water level guide here. So I'm going to let this cook, and then once it's done, I'll get to assemble my rice balls. But in the meantime, I'm going to prepare the other ingredients. For my first filling, I'm going to be making tuna. I have two five ounce cans of tuna. I'm going to break them apart just to make it easier to mix. So now I'm going to add somewhere between two and a half to three tablespoons of mayonnaise. The amount is up to you. Here I have just one scallion that I chopped, the green and the white. And maybe two teaspoons to a teaspoon and a half of gochujang. This is a Korean red pepper paste. Now I'm just going to mix well. Okay, my tuna fish filling is done. Now for the other filling, I'm actually just going to do soft boiled eggs. You can fill your rice balls with the filling of your choice, but tuna and soft boiled eggs for the other is something that my family enjoys and it's very simple. Here I have my water boiling. I'm gonna turn it down because I want it at a gentle, rapid simmer more than a hard boil and I'm going to add my eggs carefully. Okay, so what I'm going to do for a soft boiled egg is basically gently simmer slash boil my eggs for about six to seven minutes. After boiling for about six or seven minutes, I'm going to put them in an ice water bath to stop the cooking process. Now I'm just going to peel them. Okay, so my eggs are completely peeled. My tuna filling is ready. So here I have my rice, it is completely cooked. So while it's still hot, warm, I'm going to season it with sea salt. and some sesame seeds. These are toasted sesame seeds. Now I'm just going to combine and mix. Okay, so I have my rice ready. Here I have a couple of tablespoons of sesame oil just to sort of coat my gloves and the rice ball. My tuna filling and my eggs. You will also need little sheets or little squares of seaweed. This is the kind of the seaweed that you use for kimbap or sushi and I just cut it into squares. So let me show you how I do this. So you're going to grab basically a fistful of prepared rice and this is still hot. Yeah, this is kind of hot. So I'm actually going to, there we go. So you basically 
pat it into a circular disc, and then you're going to fill it. So here's my rice, my tuna, right in the center. And these can, you can make these as big or as small as you want. Sometimes I just mix the tuna with the rice all together and just make little balls. But here we go. And you're just going to press it into a ball. Just like that. This is your rice ball. So now I'm going to take, actually see how that kind of shows the, the filling a little bit. So I'm gonna put my seaweed sheet right there. And then you just give it a press and there it is. And you can set it down because the, the seaweed's on this side, you can kind of set it down without it sticking. So I'm gonna continue doing these. Let me show you how I do the egg. So the same thing, get a handful of rice. Now for the egg, I'm really gonna to have to use rice um, because you wanna make sure you cover the egg completely. My hand, my, the palm of my hands are not that big. <laughs> so, just like that. Grab your soft boiled egg and just carefully enclose it. Same thing, I'm gonna get my seaweed sheet. And there you have it. Okay, so I wanna show you the egg one, what it looks like on the inside. Okay. Let's see if it'll work. Typically, I put this in a bowl and my family eats it with a spoon. They'll sauce in uh, maybe a little bit of soy sauce. There we go. Just like that. <laughs> and that is a soft boiled egg rice ball. It's actually yummy if you like soft boiled eggs and rice balls. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna cut open into the tuna so you can see what that looks like. And that's the center of the tuna one, just like that. And actually, these are my son's favorite. <laughs> he can't wait to eat this. Another way is to preheat a griddle, add a little bit of oil, and fry it a little bit on the exterior to get it nice and toasty. Another reason I like to make rice balls is that it makes a great picnic lunch. So here's the one that I fried on the stove top and the other ones. I'm gonna place that in there and just enclose it. Here I have an assortment of fresh fruits. And of course, I have to have some fresh Side dishes, here's just fresh bell pepper. These are uh, mini bell peppers, kimchi. This is pickled daikon radish and some fresh celery. And here is a great picnic lunch. I hope you give this recipe a try. I hope you like it. And thanks for watching.